Okay, so what I would like to do is say a few words about some maps. Some, some of you will be aware that I have an interesting love affair with maps. And um, it's mainly about this particular map. It, it's a, a network map of uh, Iceland air. And if I see a map, I always ask myself, okay, what do we see? And actually, it was not this particular map that, that got my interest, but actually it was this animation, which I would like to share with you. Okay, that's a pity because uh, I have multiple animations in my talk. But basically what you see is that from the Iceland airport, all the airplanes start to move at the same time. So I will try to put a link in, in the chat later on. And they all leave at the same time to Europe and to North America. And that in itself is of course strange because then you wonder, is that really what is happening? And are these tracks of these planes so nicely curved? So what I did, I, I downloaded the tracks of on a single day from Flightradar 24 and I mapped them as you can see them here. And of course the first disappointment might be that they are not so nicely and smooth as they are in the advertisement, but that will not surprise you. But what is probably more surprising, if, if you would look at the, um, the way how the planes go, and now I'm not sure if again you don't see the animation because my whole talk falls apart if this is not visible. Okay, so this, these are frames from the animation which I tried to show you. So what happens is in the advertisement, you zoom in on Iceland and then the yellow lines representing the flights to all the different cities in North America and, and Europe, uh, they appear. And looking at that image, you, you then wonder, okay, is this really what is happening? Next slide, please. And first of all, I commented on, on the smoothness of these nice line in the airline network. And of course, that's not the case because when I downloaded the, the tracks of the planes on a single day in November 2019, you can see that that's not the case. Next slide, please. And if you then play those tracks, then you can see what really happens that in the at one point in time, and it's, it's uh, in the evening in North America, planes are leaving uh, North America and they, they move to, to Iceland and they arrive in Iceland in the early morning local time. <clears throat> People have a few hours to jump to other planes which leave for Europe. So new planes fly to Europe and then at noon time they pick up new passengers, they bring them back to Reykjavik and then again you can select uh, from uh, planes to go to all kinds of locations in North America. So that's the whole business model behind this that people are spend time on uh, Keflavik airport to buy duty free or they spend a few days in Iceland and enjoy the country. Next slide, please. And this scheme somehow summarizes it all because in, in the top diagram, you can see the arrivals and at the bottom, the departures in red North America and in orange in Europe. And then you can see if you would leave from Boston, you arrive six in the morning in Keflavik and then you have one and a half hour to catch these planes to Europe and the other way around if in the afternoon you would like to leave Amsterdam for Iceland and then you can select your destination from North America. So basically that's the story you, you see an animation and, and then you wonder is this really what has happened if you dive into it then, then it's a whole different story. So last slide yeah. then please. And am, am I my motto is, if you see a map, think about what you see. Thank you. And sorry for the uh, technical hiccups.